my friends, this is your friend Alex, the Super Nintendo Gamer. Good morning, and it's a beautiful Saturday morning, and welcome back to the channel, and this week's episode of the Alex Game Show. Now, this week is a special week. It is May 11th. So you've all wondered what happens. What happens on May 11th? Well, according to May 11th, May 11th is the day the Sega Saturn came out in North America. And that was in 1995. It's been about 29 years. Almost 30 years this November 22nd in Japan. But here in North America, it is the Sega Saturn's 29th birthday here in North America. And what would be the best way to celebrate this day? Well, I won't be showing the Sega Saturn day, but we will be showing a game that I got back that is really cool. I got back in 2019. It's a really cool game. The day we're going to be showing the Galactic Attack game for the Sega Saturn. Now, Galactic Attack was, I think, was an arcade game, but they let him make it for the Sega Saturn. And... That's not all we're going to do. We're not always going to showcase this. We're also actually going to play the game. First, we're going to show it. First, we're going to see here's the case. Looks really cool. Really retro style. I like that. And, of course, there's the side of it. I'll flip it. See? And then here's the other side. And here's the back. And, of course, we look inside. Here's the CD disc. Really cool, huh? And of course, oh, in here, let me get the manual. Back the like for the Playstation Saturns, the manuals was also the game's covers too. Now they make manuals for them separate for that. And I can't pretty sure. We can show a little bit here. There's the controls and. Tells you how I like to play it. It's really good, excellent condition. I bought this on eBay back in 2019, and I accidentally made a mistake buying two of these by accident because I ordered the first one and I thought it wasn't coming because it said it was like it was lost in the mail, and I thought, oh great, I'm going to miss out on it. So I went and bought another one, which was this copy. It had the case to it, it was like $10 more. Because the one I bought was 40 and this one was 50 the one I bought before didn't have all the case, it just came in a little CD case. And then I found this one that had the actual case and manual everything, which is excellent because I like having the original case. And have you ever noticed these Sega Sound cases look like old VHS tapes? Kind of like those big ones that they use later, not the little small ones, but kind of the ones that open up like this. That's what it kind of looks like. And it was crazy, and then the other one actually came in the mail, and then this one came by a couple days later in the mail, and I was like, oh, well, great, now I'm stuck with two of them. I still keep the other copy just in case like if this one ever break down like it always happens. But now they got Galactic Attack on Nintendo Switch now. So I have no worry about that. They will about this breaking down. But now we can now we can shut now let's play it. Ooh, this is good. Okay everyone, we're ready to play some Galactic Attack now. Are you ready? Here we go. And I'll also be telling you kind of my review on it. Now, this game is a kind of a shooter game. And you move your spaceship back and forth, and you fight all these different enemies. There's this villain named Con Human. He's took over the world with artificial intelligence. And you have to get back. And this game is support with two players. And what's next? Galactic Attack, a really cool game. It, it's kind of unique and spreaded down the art style. And how they did everything. Just how they make like a classic good old arcade game. Oh, and you have to collect like crystals and these little laser things to upgrade your weapon systems. So that way you can continue fighting strong enemies. And don't be fooled by the game. It's it starts out it's it's not that hard, but as the game goes on, it really starts picking up. So this game is kind of a difficult game, but it can be a lot of fun. It takes a lot of hand-eye coordination because there's all these things shooting at you in the game, and you have to really be focused on what you're doing here that way you don't get knocked out. This game can be frustrating but it can be awful a lot of fun too. Okay, we're doing pretty good here so far.
get his on the bosses. This guy, you gotta be quick. You gotta blow off his cannons, off, off his cans on both sides. If you don't, you get in serious trouble. Now here's the part that looks really good. If you look closely at the screen, you can see like the, like, like, like some type of galaxy thing going across the screen. It looks real 3D dimensional. Got me there. That's what's tricky about this game. One false move and it's all over. The good news is, that if you like lose all your lives, you get like an upgrade. You get like your laser up to level four, which is really nice. Now I'm gonna mess up here because there's something else I want to show you to this game. You don't have to play it like this kind of like classic kind of like style like they use in most shooters with a spaceship. There's actually another mode that's really cool. Okay, well now we're back at the tile screen. Now we go to options. Now you notice that there's like different options, like normal, and there's like you can have your rapid on. But there's like a thing that says like game mode and pad mode. Now the game mode is the sex down. Now by switch it, say RK. Now this is where it gets interesting. See, look, this game is sideways now, see? Instead of vertical, it's, of course, kind of more horizontal now, see? And this is where it can... So it makes it feel like you're playing like Gladius, almost. So if you want a different type of game style, you can switch it over to Art K for horizontal. And if you want kind of vertical, you switch over to Sega Saturn mode. See how cool this is, everyone? It gives kind of the game a new atmosphere. I think this is one of the cool parts about this game. You can play it in two different modes, Sex Sound mode and Arcade mode. So you can play it horizontal or vertical. And whatever can you see it makes it kind of look like I'm going for more of an asteroid field here. Instead of just like flying up with the space station. I usually don't play too much in this mode, I just play it in the Sex Sound mode. But the arcade mode is not too bad. I don't know too much about Black Tech, but I think they said when it when the arcade version came out it looked like this and when they made the Sega Saturn version, it made it more vertical instead of horizontal. I'd have to do more research on it, but I think that's what's kinda of good. Also, the, the graphics in this game are just excellent. I like how they make kind of like an anime like style. This is a really, really cool game here. I think this is probably one of the best games for the sound. So if you're looking for a good action game for your Sega Sound, I recommend this game. Like that. It is quite hard to find, but once you find it, it is really worth the wait to add to your Sega Sound collection. Okay, well now we gotta do this boss battle again. It's probably gonna look a little... Makes me feel like that boss from Gladius. Oh yeah, look at the background. It looks, oh, it looks a little different. It's the same, but since it's a different angle, it makes it feel different. Oh, well, that was close. Oh, he got me there. I wasn't paying attention. That's what's bad about this game. If you're not paying attention, you can, just like that, you can really get screwed. But now I got extra power here, I can really nail him. Oh, I lost my two power. There we got him. Well, what do you guys think of Galactic Attack on the Sega Saturn? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like more content, please subscribe to our Super Nintendo Gamer and click that bell to get notifications and get more content like this on every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day and 
Happy birthday to the Sega Saturn. God bless you, my friends, and have a great day. Bye-bye, my friends.